Yeah, good. Hi everyone, uh, Aiden here again with another video, hopefully a tutorial video uh, on how to plaster a cement wall, well a brick wall. Um, I'm standing right beside a load of sand, white sand. Um, we usually do this 12 shovels per one barrel. Before I get into that, let me please ask that you, after viewing this video, you can subscribe, share, don't forget to press the notification so that you can receive new videos when they come online. But today is going to be simply tutorial, right? So we already have over there, we already have some cement placed on, some uh, sand placed on the floor. I'm just going to put a couple of shovels more and then we're going to have some Portland cement there. The Portland cement which comes in 100 pound bag sizes, um, it's one bag for two barrels. Sometimes you could stretch it a little bit over depending on how, how hard you need the walls to be. But I usually use two barrels for one bag of Portland cement. Right? So it's, I don't have much sand to put out again. So this is what we're going to use here. Right? So let me just show you um, the cement. So this here, this is actually three barrels of cement of our sand, which is 36 shovels. And I'm going to add a half bag of cement to that. And pour water, mix it up into a nice paste um, that is able to spread something like the consistency of, of uh, butter. All right? and, uh, so you're going to see that later on as we go on in the video. But for now, you're going to mix this up. Once I'm finished mixing, you're going to see the final state and then you're going to see the application on the walls. Alright, so hang in there. So, I mixed the sand and the cement together. Uh, water is there. There's sufficient water. It might need a little bit topping up but there is sufficient there to mix the entire thing together it's like butter and this is how it goes As you can see, there's a lot of moisture, water in there. It actually has a sort of a lava flow effect. But um, once it's mixed and turned up properly, you're going to have something that stands up a little bit. Nice consistency that you can spread on the wall itself. So this is the mixing process here. It's going to take about 10 minutes to mix this up properly. And um, once that is done, you'll see the next step in actually applying it to the brick wall. We're doing brick today. Sorry. Yeah, we're doing brick today and we're going to do blocks tomorrow. Uh, and you're going to have a good grasp of how you plaster a wall. Alright? So this is the mixing process here. Next step would be the application. So that's the consistency there, has to be like nice little paste, that way it's palette, you know, you can just shape it on the wall. This is a wall that I did uh, a couple days ago. 
it's not dried properly so that's how it looks when it is completely dried it has that gray finishing effect that lighter gray color there uh, maybe three or four days or so it will be dried so this is where we're going to do this these are one of this is one of the walls we're going to do today uh, it's brick clay clay uh, bricks well blocks some people may call it brick block yeah, so we're going to do this today and also I'm going to begin with this huge wall here that's the tray that I put the mix into my trowel my trowel so I'll just show you the application and you're going to see how it goes all right that's the brick wall right there right so this is the application here has to get that consistency where it sticks to the wall and at the same time you are able to shape it what you want to do you want to get about half inch coverage a consistent half inch along the wall so that uh, you have a initial straight to deal with for the screening process which is going to come once the wall is finished and the mortar is set a little bit All right so this is the idea right here So you want to get a half inch consistency all along, right? which would make things a little easy as the screening process takes place. So I'm going to do this to the entire wall and once I'm finished you're going to have a look at the next process which is actually to screen it with a straight edge of uh, this is white pine and straight edge we're going to be able to screen it all the way along to get an even uh, surface and then it's going to be smoothened out with a, a styrofoam float that I have Alright, so this is the initial start of it here and you're going to see as we go along So I'm done with the wall, uh, throwing up the mortar and you can see there is a, well, sort of a level, it's about an average half inch, maybe three quarter inch at the, at the um, thickest point. So that is going to be left there for 10-15 minutes so that it can begin the, the hydration process. Um, it's important to note that concrete mortar doesn't dry, it, it, it gets hard through filtration, right? So I'm just going to wait for it to harden just a little bit. And uh, once that is done, I'm going to go to the next step, which is actually to scream in it. Um, this is a previous shower that I've done. It's not completed yet. It's already been used. But um, this wall was waited to, uh, we were waiting to complete this wall and then we're going to have a glass enclosure from the end of the tiling right there, the end of the tiling, a glass enclosure and um, that's going to complete. No tile is going to be going on this wall here. So once we're done, we're going to clean up this 
and you're going to see the after uh, look of it. So this is what it looks like as I'm finished with the plastering. So this is the screening process. What we want to do is have a length of wood, something that you can manage, um, that's straight, and you're going to use the edge, just the edge, not the flat surface like this. You're going to tilt it like this, just the edge, and you scrape the wall. That way, you get a level surface going all the way up, across, in all directions. This will be reused, put together, scrape up, put together again. We know and again, you want to make sure the wall is making contact with the street edge all the way along so you know the wall is level. That's the idea. Right? Wherever there is a gap, like for instance right here, you fill it in later on, but you want to generally level the wall so that it um, it looks straight and presentable for the finishing rock, right? So this is what we do right now. Just taking off the excess lumps and bumps. And all of the inconsistencies within the wall that would have gone up. Like I said every now and again, you want to make sure that the wall is straight in every angle. Backfill all of these lower areas here, level them off with where the street edge would have passed, give it a few minutes to dry or to hard to harden, and then I'm going to do the final rub. You're going to see that. Alright, so for now I'm just going to continue this, this process here to get it perfect. It's almost there, but I can take off a little bit more. What you want to do is I put on half inch to about three quarter inch. So, uh, when I bring it down to 3 eighths of an inch or maybe half inch thick, it would minimize the, the, um, the amount of crevices and dips and holes and valleys that it would have, like these here, right? So you can see all where the street edge would have passed and you can see also where you need some extra backfilling. So that's it right there, you can see. The wall touches the straight edge all the way down, and that's what you want to see. That's the consistency you want, right? So, you will see how it goes in a few minutes, right? So, this is, I've given it a few minutes to harden a little bit. You might be able, you maybe should be able to see on the, from the camera, the sort the level, general level surface that you have there. That was done as I showed you with the straight edge. Now, what we do is, we get a plastic bottle, take the cap off, just count here, just bore a few little holes that you get a nice little spray like that. And you want a nice little spray, not too much, just enough. And now that here is hard enough, I wish it could have been a little harder, but because of the weather, it's not very warm, so it's a little bit softer than I would like it to be. But anyways, this is what you call, this is your, your float. It's a, a styrofoam float. And you simply, you start rubbing. Rubbing a circular, circular fashion. What the water does, the water softens the surface of the mortar so that it is able to rub in that circular and fill in all the little gaps that 
uh, would have remained like these this is the gaps here right uh, so that's what it's I'm gonna rub it for a couple minutes you're gonna see Friends here. So that's the smooth consistency you're gonna get as a final, as a finish, and this is where it have, haven't been done yet. Right? So there's no gaps in the mortar there, and on this side, you can see it's still to be done. So that is what you want to do. You want to rub until your shoulder falls out and it is smooth all the way along. That's it. So I hope you would have gotten the idea. I have some still photos to see. You can see how it will be finished at the end. But this is the process that we have to go through to get the walls nice and smooth before priming and painting. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to turn on your notification so that you are able to receive videos when they come on stream God bless you and we'll see you on another video